Yo, what's going on, YouTube fam? I'm your guy, Rez, and I am tuning in again with y'all for another dope video on the channel. Let's get it. So in this episode today, as you can see, I am decked out in my Dragon Ball gear. By the way, shout out to my guy, Son Goku, man. Gotta rock that matching snapback to go with the fit. As you can see, it's this dope pinwheel style right here almost like a vintage vibe to it but um yeah this is not what i'm going to showcase guys actually it is a dragon ball episode because i have some dragon ball pickups that i want to share with you guys by the way before i go any further into the video if you like what you're seeing so far please hit a like on this video as well as subscribing to the channel and hit the bell notification to stay updated as soon as i post anything if you're new you know i post a lot of different things on my channel that i'm into you know i know i collect a lot of different things like jerseys sneakers hats toys uh, apparel you know uh whatever i'm really into man so whatever my wave is feeling or my mood you know and i collect it that's what you're gonna see on my channel so i actually picked up three things i'm gonna show you the first one as you can see right here number one boom i have number two boom and of course i have number three which this is the heaviest one out of the three boom right here so for those of you who are wondering guys these are the ichiban show figures and this is like the master lease line and uh, it says dragon ball super on there but to be honest with you i think they got that part wrong i think that was a typo it should have been dragon ball z you know what i'm saying because uh this looks to be from the saiyan saga of dragon ball z uh but regardless guys you know it is a officially licensed figure these are officially licensed i do want to give a huge shout out to the good people over at legends comics and games i actually got these figures from there they are a store out here in my san jose area i don't know if they're you know uh in other areas across the united states but you know uh, i know they have a, a lot of different locations in the san jose area so you know they might be local but shout outs to them for having all three of these in stock and selling them for reasonable prices uh specifically you know i was hunting for the vegeta and the goku primarily and the vegeta is probably the most expensive one that i've seen floating on the market i've seen people ask anywhere from 100 plus to almost $200 just for the Vegeta. And that is absolutely ridiculous because I believe the retail on this was around like $40 or so. All right, y'all, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing of all three of these figures in this one video. I'm gonna try and give you a quick review as much as I possibly can, you know, sharing the details and all that stuff. But you already know, guys, I don't do any unboxings without all reliable here. So by the way, guys, be careful. These are very sharp going in. All right, guys, so if you haven't noticed, you know, the figures do come securely packed with that cardboard, so it will protect the figure during transit. These are imported, guys, so they are traveling overseas, but when you buy these figures brand new, you know, they come with the extra piece of cardboard which holds it in place which is very good guys so you really don't have to worry too much about anything getting damaged during transit the figures also come bagged as you could see look how freaking menacing vegeta looks with that scouter yo that's crazy that's fire right look at that super super dope all right guys so vegeta does require some assembly nothing too major you know there's a few little pieces that you attach on you know his head and his neck goes on to you know his body on the top and then of course it comes with a scouter which is a small accessory that you attach on vegeta's ear and then vegeta if you don't want to have his scouter on you could take off the scouter and then you could attach his regular ear so as if he's not wearing the scouter you know since he has no use for it but it also does come with a peg stand right here which holds the figure in place and uh you know that's good man because you definitely don't want these figures to fall down because you know um they are pvc but you know if you drop them on a hardwood floor the plastic could potentially break i got this vegeta for about 50 bucks which is not bad considering if you go online and you try to buy it people are asking nearly double or triple you know depending on who's selling it so when i saw this that they had it and i got it for that price yo i was like yo no question i'm gonna cop it all right figure number two guys is the goku which i am going to open with y'all right now and this is probably my favorite one to be quite honest with y'all man as i said i'm biased because goku is my favorite character from the dragon ball series but yo man this figure right here just looks freaking crazy oh my gosh guys so as you can see you attach the upper 
body of Goku to his lower body, and my god, dude. Just kind of jam it in there a little bit. That's kind of how these figures work. But yo, look at the freaking detail on my guy, Goku. My god, dude. Yo, look at the details and the sculpt of Goku, man. Looking like he did that KO Ken times three right there, man. So definitely, you know, this really captures the physique and mood of Goku, you know during this Saiyan saga and epic battle with Vegeta, man. So, yo, I'm in love with this figure, yo. Freaking fire. And look at the face, yo. The face sculpt of Goku, man. Oh my God, y'all killed it with this one. What I really like about this figure real quick, just to kind of point things out here, uh, I like the shade of the red, you know, cause obviously, you know, the Kao Ken, you know, he turns red, you know, he has that reddish tint across surrounding his body and I really like the fact that they captured that with the colors of the paint job on this figure man I think they did a really great job and just the overall physique of Goku's body you know obviously like he got really really big when he did the Kaoken which you know King Kai advised them not to do it I'm geeking out guys sorry for those of you who don't know Dragon Ball I'm, I'm explaining to you so listen carefully but this is a dope figure man putting this next to Vegeta and having goku and vegeta yo this is like only fitting to have these two side by side right here man and this is really dope to have in the collection right now oh wow okay so the napa is a little bit different guys it actually comes with a plastic base inside as you can see right there there is no cardboard to hold the uh the body and then it has the top to hold it so damn dude I did not realize how freaking massive Nappa was. And I mean, the box is pretty big, but damn, dude, this is definitely a big <laughs> figure for sure. But let me take Nappa outside of this bag, man, because you got to let Nappa breathe. But damn, bro. Oh my gosh, man. Look at this. Oh my God, man. Look at the weight on this thing. He is freaking huge compared to Vegeta. Look at this. Look at the size comparison. Oh my gosh, man. So that is very accurate, I think, because Nappa is a big dude. Very, very big from the uh, Dragon Ball Z series. But damn, man. Like, just to show some comp comparison here, I got my little Mighty Mug Galactus, but... Look how freaking ginormous Nappa is. My God. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm geeking out. He does come with a few accessories as well. Comes with a scouter. Comes with his earpiece. And then he has his fist right here, which you could see. Not sure why one of his arms is bubble wrapped. I wonder if there was... I guess that was just to protect it. Yeah, maybe it was just to protect it during transit, but... That's cool, I suppose. Uh, not really sure what that's for. Nappa is one big mofo, dude. This guy, holy crap, dude. Look at that. Yo, look at that. Look at the sculpt of Nappa. Look at the scouter. Look at his menacing... Sorry guys, my camera's trying to focus, but look at his menacing face right there. We all know Nappa did not skip leg day. <laughs> but damn, bro, look at the definition on those calves, bro. And also on his thighs, my god. Super, super fire, bro. My god. Sorry, I'm like geeking out. Yo, this has got to be the heaviest figure out of these three for sure. He is definitely the tallest. Just to show you comparison, here is Goku, here is Nappa. And uh, here is the Vegeta. Sorry guys, I'm trying to be really careful with these. I don't want to drop these or anything, but yo, the size, man. Comparison is definitely accurate. Size matters, <laughs> pause. I think it's really dope that they added the Saiyan tails on Vegeta and Nappa, you know, obviously. Uh, the Saiyans, you know, having the their tails at birth, you know, turning into the giant apes, you know. Uh, another Dragon Ball. You know uh reference guys for those of you who don't know so i'm sorry guys i'm really trying to educate you guys as much as possible you know i highly recommend watching dragon ball if you have not seen dragon ball 
Um, definitely watch Dragon Ball Z. Watch the Saiyan Saga. You know, start from the beginning. Because I'm telling you, man, this was the saga that got me hooked into Dragon Ball. This is the reason why I'm wearing this and wearing this and buying all this stuff. Uh, because of this arc and this anime right here. So, um, yeah, I really like this figure a lot. I mean, I'm not really a huge Nappa guy. But because this was part of the Saiyan arc and because this looks like to be a part of a set, you know, I definitely wanted to get these and, uh, you know, um, I had to get all these to display. I hope they do release all the characters like the Z fighters and I hope they do release like a Raditz maybe, you know, I'd like to see a Raditz and I'd like to see like a Krillin, uh, Chao Su. I think they did a TN and Yamcha already, if I'm not mistaken, but I would like to see other characters, um, you know during this arc right here because that was my favorite arc if they release them all i'm getting them all guys no question all right y'all well that is going to wrap up my review on these three dope dragon ball super figures right here please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know which one out of the three is your favorite guys did you cop this if you guys are dragon ball collectors and if you're looking to get into like collectibles and stuff like that are you guys going for these you know um honestly for me like i said you know i am a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, you know, or just Dragon Ball in general. I love the Saiyan arc. The Saiyan arc is like my favorite arc of all time for Dragon Ball Z. So it was only fitting, you know, that I got these three figures. You know what I'm saying? My favorite out of the three, of course, you know, I'm biased. Gotta go with my guy Goku, but I feel like all three of these characters right here played a pivotal role for the Saiyan saga. And, uh, you know, it's just dope to have these on display. I appreciate you guys watching. Definitely stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews on my figures. You know, I collect other things other than Dragon Ball as well, you know, figure wise. So definitely be on the lookout for that on the channel. All right, y'all. Well, that is going to wrap it up for me on these three bad boys right here. So your boy Rez signing off. We'll see y'all on the next video. We out. Peace.